Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Aston Hall Hotel. My name is Tracy Ford and this is my colleague Beth and we are from Rotherham Register Office. And on behalf of the registration service and the staff here at Aston Hall, we'd like to give you all a very warm welcome on this special day. Particularly special of course for Paul and Diana but also for all of us here that are involved in today's celebration. Finding love isn't always easy, and it often comes when we least expect it. But your story does show that it can always find us, no matter where we are in our journey, and when it arrives, it has the power to transform our lives in the most beautiful ways. Watching you find love again, Mum, has been a true inspiration. Paul, you have brought so much joy into our mum's life. Your love for her is evident in every smile, every glance and every moment you share. Thank you for loving her so deeply and becoming a cherished part of our family. So today is a day of love, joy and new beginnings. We're not only celebrating the union of two wonderful people, but the joining of two families. As I stand here looking at our mum, I can't help but feel an overwhelming sense of gratitude and happiness. Mum, I'm sure everyone here will agree that you look utterly beautiful and you make a stunning bride. I know one lady in particular who sadly can't be here with us today but will be looking down on you today beaming with pride. Mum, growing up you have been our rock, our confidence, it always, <laughs> our confidence, our biggest supporter, your strength, kindness and unwavering love has shaped us into who we are today and for that we are truly thankful. Mum and Paul, May your life together be filled with laughter, adventure and endless love. May you continue to support each other through the highs, the lows and may your love for each other grow stronger with each passing day. Paul, I hope you love growing old with our mum as much as we have loved growing up with her. So to the newlyweds, I raise a glass and I toast to a future filled with happiness, love and, wonder the f and all the wonderful things life has to offer you both. Congratulations, Mum and Paul. Here's to your beautiful journey ahead. Right, from the heart now, as he says. We were never seen each other for how many years? Well, a lot, until he turned up on my doorstep, which has told you the story of that, and helped me, th helped me through a difficult period in, uh, in my life. But he was a true friend, and he was there when I was upset on the phone. He was there, he'd ring me, he'd be upset on the phone. As you all know, he's a sentimental, big softy. And when he told me he was getting married to Deanna, we met Deanna obviously, and she's loved. Well, you can see how much they're, everybody in the room can see how much they mean to each other, how much they're in love. And it was just really, really nice to see you. 50, how many years? <laughs> I mean, I was feeling sorry for you, Deanna, but she is absolutely lovely. And you've got a ready made family, Grandad Dreamboat, and you couldn't have dropped on with a nicer family and a nicer partner. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, well, you know, as long as it's worth it, I wish you all the very best. So if you'd all like to stand up and raise a glass 
to the happy couple, Paul and Diana. Thank you very much. Of no legal reason. Why I, Paul Stephen Green. Why I, Ste Paul Stephen Green. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Diana Marie Weston. To Diana Marie Weston. That was perfect, Paul. So, Diana. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Diana Marie Weston, why I, Diana Marie Weston, may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage, to Paul Stephen Green. To Paul Stephen Green. Perfect, Diana, thank you. So Paul, do you take Diana to be your wife and share your life with her? I do. And do you solemnly promise that you will always protect Diana with your utmost care, that you will respect and support her throughout your life together, and that in all things you will be to her a faithful and loving husband? I do. And lastly, Paul, do you promise to encourage and support her in all that she does throughout your life together? I do. Diana, do you take Paul to be your husband and share your life with him? I do. And do you solemnly promise that you will always protect Paul with your utmost care, that you will respect and support him throughout your life together, and that in all things you will be to him a faithful and loving wife? I do. And lastly, Diana, do you promise to encourage and support him in all that he does throughout your life together? I do. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons present. Here present. Here present. To witness that I, Paul Stephen Green. To witness I, Paul Stephen Green. 
Do take thee, Diana Marie Weston. Do take thee, Diana Marie Weston. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Diana Marie Weston. To witness that I, Diana Marie Weston. Do take thee, Paul Stephen Green. Do take thee, Paul Stephen Green. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage as a sign of our marriage and as a lasting reminder and as a lasting reminder of the promises made today of the promises made today I give you this ring I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage as a sign of our marriage and as a lasting reminder and a lasting reminder of the promises made today promise is made today so paul and diana today is the start of a new life for you together and we all hope that the feelings of love you have for each other will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come it gives me very great pleasure to say that you are now husband and wife. Would you like to kiss your bride? <laughs> There's a few things obviously I've got to do, I've got a few things I've got, to, a few people I've got to thank. Uh, so there's various things, so let's start with Diana's family. So 
It's just come to light in the last couple of days, but obviously, apart from marrying Diana, you suddenly become part of, you know, 25 football and rugby teams. You know, there's like, you know, so many of them, it's untrue. And they keep coming. Don't they, Jenna? <laughs> so, obviously, and then we've got, obviously, flower girls, you know, lads, everybody's been fantastic. The last person who I need to tell you about is my darling wife. <laughs> so, just a bit of our love story, shall we say. So, basically, me and Diana's paths have crossed, me and Diana have crossed paths so many times, it's unbelievable. We're getting right back to the early days of, you know, when I was sort of like cutting hair and we were sort of like working at headlines. She came in, wanted her hair cutting, and I actually turned her away. So it's all sorted on a good foot list, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so anyway, then uh, years later, we saw each other. Well, we saw each other in Josephine's, uh, and she just kept looking at me, thinking, "He's wrong." <laughs> and if most of you know me, I am. <laughs> but at the time, she made the right decision. We're not actually approaching or you know making any any room for it. So. You know, we, we sort of like then sort of like went, well, obviously went to separate ways uh, and then we again came into contact with each other through Diana's family, Mike's house, Alicia's house and obviously, so it, obviously she recognised me again uh, and then it got to the point where Alicia one night came to actually try and make, do a bit of a Cupid moment and bottled it, didn't you? Yeah. Which, you know, we're, oh, what's she come for? That's weird. I, well, I think I was stood there in my pants. <laughs> so, that obviously, you sort of like thought, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so then anyway, uh, we actually bumped into each other in the Red Lion, you know, just the right, straightforward, carry on. She was coming out the door, I was going out the door. It was one of them jobs, and uh, they, I were in the early bar with all my mates. So, Vivian, where are you, Vivian? Yeah. Hey, up, Viv. She's in, she's in the red line with, with Diana, and, and happened to say to one of the guys, Do we know any nice guys? So, I don't know who we were on about, but he says, yeah, it's, yeah. He says the nicest guys just walked out at door. I don't, I, well, I presume that were me. <laughs> so, anyway, we went out on a date. Here we are. So, you know, yeah. So basically, that's the, the whole love story without all the X-rated bits, what you need to know about, you know. But that's the love story of me and Diana. And I just, every time I see her, she brings a smile to my face. You are absolutely my dream.